And welcome you live to the Brevard Sports Network for Saturday Volleyball live here from Merritt Island High School for regional semifinal action as we have the national anthem getting started and then I will help preview this matchup between Merritt Island and Santa Fe. And we welcome you back here. And uh, as we get set to go here on the Brevard Sports Network, I'm Jack Sarab, and behind the camera running the broadcast is Kayla Brown. And this one, it is regional semifinal volleyball in 4A Region 2 between the Merritt Island Mustangs, the two-seed and the three-seeded Santa Fe Raiders. First, we'll look at Santa Fe. They come into this game again as the three-seed, knocking off Satellite in four sets in round one. They come in at 20-7. and seven. Their team, number one, is Kylie Roden. Number two is Amari Carlisle. Number three, Briley Kuhn. Number six is Avery Cole. Number eight is Reagan Adkins. Number 11 is Reagan Matthews. Number 12 is Peyton English. And their starters tonight, or today, is number four, Brooke Finley. Number five, Delaney Wingenbach. Number nine is Carly Noah. Number 13 is Grayson Marshall. Number 15 is Gia McCrew. Number 20 is Morgan Lawson. Number 23 is Alexis Roden. They have won 60 sets and only lost 22. They're led by head coach Eric Marshall in his seventh season with a 168 and 46 record with an average of 24 uh, match wins a year. He's won five straight district titles and was the 2021 state champions. Their kills leader is Gia McCrew with an impressive 312 kills. Uh, their ace leader is uh, Grayson Marshall with 43 aces. And their digs leader is Carly Noah with 401 digs. And then when you look at the home team, the Brevard County team, the Merritt Island Mustangs this season are the two seed in this region, come in at 22 and five after beating Tavares in straight sets earlier this week in the first round. They, uh, their roster goes, number zero, Emma Michelle. Number one is Bella Schwantz. Number two is Juliana Dush. Number three is gonna be Libero Sarah Niazzi. Number four is Shamaya Richardson. Uh, number seven is Kylie Thompson. Number eight is Lexi Michelle. Number nine is Amber Ives. Number 10 is Reese Loggins. Number 12 is Aveline Krauser. Number 14 is Elena Martin. Number 15 is Annabelle Jones. And number 16 is McKenna Highlander. From Merritt Island this season, they've won 44 sets and only lost 11. And they are led by head coach Angie Patrick in her 22nd season with 478 wins and only 118 losses. Uh, her state playoff record, 39 and 21, with eight Final Fours coming off of one a year ago. Uh, three state runner-ups in 2012, 2014, and 2021, and state champions in 2011 and 2018. And they have now won 20 straight district titles. So when you look at these two teams, over the last five seasons, if you entered high school in 2020 or more recent, you have never seen a volleyball district champion. Uh, that wasn't Santa Fe or Merritt Island as they both won at least five in a row for Santa Fe. It is five in a row for Merritt Island. That's 20 in a row. Merritt Island's kill leader, Bella Schwantz, with 246 kills. Ace leader, Shamaya Richardson, with 53 aces. Their digs leader, Shamaya Richardson, with 228 digs. Blocks leader, Emma Michelle, with 49 blocks. And their assist leader is Annabelle Jones with 279 assists. These teams getting ready to roll here. A lot on the table. But at the end of the day, the biggest thing is to keep your season alive and advance to the regional finals to face the winner of Bishop Moore and Mount Dora. 
which would be next Wednesday. If Bishop Moore wins, then neither of these teams would have a chance to host. If Mount Dora wins, either of these teams would then host. But that's out of their control. What is in both these teams' control today is winning and moving on to the regional finals. Two very good uh, volleyball teams, two very good strength of schedules. At the end of the day, this one, not much separating these teams on their resume. Very similar teams, not ranked very far apart either. I think they're separated by eight spots overall. According to Max Preps, this was the second rated team in all of 4A. This was the fourth rated team in all of 4A, meaning that if the regions were split up kind of like March Madness, like I like to compare it, these would both be one seed caliber programs, but instead it's a two and a three. Um, so you know we're going to get a great game here today and make it worth your time here on Saturday afternoon. Merritt Island going to get start serving. It is Annabelle Jones to get things underway for the Merritt Island Mustangs here on Saturday with a chance to move on to the regional finals. On the line, Jones gets it underway. Serve received by Noah, set to the outside, and a kill to start for their kills leader, Gia McCrew, makes that 313 kills on the season now. McCrew has about 70 over Merritt Island's leader, Bella Schwantz, and she adds another to that count there with the kill. 1-0 Santa Fe to get things started. Back to serve for the Raiders is their ace leader, Grayson Marshall. Marshall served to the back corner off of Niazi for the ace. 2-0 Santa Fe. Nice start for the Raiders here. They lead it 2-0. Marshall back to serve again, following the ace, makes that 44 on the season for her. Goes into Niazi, receives, set by Jones outside for Elena Martin, who plays a nice tip underneath. Good positioning, and it's 2-1 now. Santa Fe's lead, cut down by the kill by Elena Martin. Back to serve now for Merritt Islands. Their second leader in aces, Bella Schwantz. Schwantz back to serve, 2-1 Santa Fe with the lead. Set up front outside, that was a double on the set as her hands kind of came together on that one and now we are tied at two here. Bella Schwantz back at the service line once again. Schwantz is serve, received by Noah and sent over right down the line but out of bounds on the kill attempt by Delaney Wingenbach and it is 3-2 the lead for Merritt Island now on three straight points. Schwantz back to serve. Schwantz serve gets over received by McGrew set back outside for McGrew tips it over down the line nice play by McGrew and we're tied at three. Gia McGrew with her second kill already of the night now. It's tied at three of the day. That serve going deep, good receive. And sent over by Emma Michelle. Now on the receiving end. Kill attempt is blocked up front by Emma Michelle and Shamaya Richardson. And Merritt Island takes the lead back four to three. Subbing in for Merritt Island will be Amber Ives for Emma Michelle as well as Aveline Krauser for Sarah Niazi. Back to serve for Merritt Island is Amber Ives as the Mustangs lead it four to three. Here in set number one. Ives serve is low, received by Noah. Set outside to McCrew, right over. Richardson is there. Good adjustment. Shamaya Richardson with a cross court kill attempt received by Brooke Finley. Up front, the kill attempt tipped over. There, but Krauser gets a hand on it. And Annabelle Jones with the kill for Merritt Island. It is 5-3 Mustangs leading now. And they're on a 5-1 scoring run since Santa Fe grabbed the first two points of the match. Eyes back to serve again. 5-3 Mustangs lead. Ives serve, receive by Finley. Back outside to McGrew, tipped at the net, drops for another kill. McGrew already up to three on the game, up to 315 on the season. Checking in for Merritt Island, Emma Michelle will come back in. McGrew will come out for Santa Fe. Checking in is Reagan Atkins. Emma Michelle checks in for Merritt Island as well as does Sarah Niazi. That will 
or Michelle will stay on the sideline. They'll pull Ives out for Niazi. Served there by Atkins. Received by Schwantz. Set by Jones. Back to Elena Martin down the line. Drops it in the back corner for the kill. 6-4 the lead now for Merritt Island. Checking in for Merritt Island is Reese Loggins and Lexi Michelle. Coming in for Elena Martin and Annabelle Jones. Back to serve for Merritt Island is Reese Loggins. Mustangs lead 6-4 here early on in the opening set. Loggins serve, cross court is received by Atkins. Bump set up front, tipped into the net by Amari Carlisle. 7-4 the lead now for Merritt Island. Merritt Island's done much better lately in these first sets, taking over these games early after they struggled in the middle section of their season. But lately it's been all Merritt Island in these opening sets. That ball tipped over, free ball dropped over by Michelle. Good play back by Adkins. Sent over by Grayson Marshall. Set by Loggins, tipped over by Lexi Michelle. And Santa Fe is in the net. They call it on Amari Carlisle. Timeout Santa Fe and Coach Eric Marshall looking to talk it over here with his girls as they trail 8-4 to four after starting out up 2 to nothing. <laughs> Coach Marshall is fired up right now. And we here at the Brevard Sports Network are fired up about Martinez Construction. I'd like to tell you all about our sponsors for today and uh, proud sponsor Merritt Island Volleyball and for all the best in construction, design, and build needs on the Space Coast. Uh, call Martinez Construction Services at 321-349-2000 and online at www.martinezconstruction.com. i also like to thank the Florida High School Athletic Association for granting permission to broadcast and bringing all of the uh, Volleyball State Series. And don't forget to check them out on FHSA.com for all the information regarding the Volleyball State Final Four over in Polk County this season. Got plenty of Brevard County's teams still in the race to make it to the final four and this Merritt Island team, one of them obviously here playing in these regional semifinals. It's 8-4 Mustangs coming out of the Santa Fe timeout. As we get set to resume play, officials speaking with some Santa Fe players here. About something here that happened, I assume, before the timeout. You look at the history between these two programs. They have played before. One and one all time between these two programs. Back to serve for Merritt Island is Reese Loggins up towards the net, kept off the net. Santa Fe gets it over, but it was Alexis Roden sliding under the net that's gonna negate that play. Nine four the lead for Merritt Island as they win the timeout and are riding a nine and two scoring run. Loggins at the service line going deep, awkward receive. That ball gets over, nice play. On the dig by Marshall. Merritt Island goes right back at Marshall. And Santa Fe gets called for the violation there. It's 10-4 Merritt Island. Santa Fe looking frustrated here. The Mustangs cool, calm, and collected early. Not there. Loggins plays it long. 10-5 the lead now for Merritt Island. The run hits a halt here. Checking in for Santa Fe now is Briley Kuhn and Morgan Lawson. With Lawson at the service line for the Raiders trailing by five. Serve gets over there, received by Bella Schwant, set by Loggins to Aveline Krauser, pitches that deep. Nice play on the back line there by Santa Fe and they get it over with Alexis Roden, but it's too long. 11-5 the lead for Merritt Island. Still a great effort there on the play by Reagan Adkins on the back line. Just couldn't get it in bounds on the other end. Merritt Island leads by six. 
And it's Merritt Island's ace leader, Shamaya Richardson, at the service line. Going right at Atkins. Bump set by Noah, sent over by Kuhn. Set outside, and nice kill there by Bella Schwantz. Merritt Island's kills leader adds number 247 to her season total. Checking in for Santa Fe is Peyton English. Coming in for Reagan Adkins, Shamaya Richardson back to serve again. Mustangs lead by seven. Richardson serve is an ace. Miscommunication on the receive for Santa Fe between Finley and Noah. 13-5, the lead for Merritt Island. And I've said it before, you've seen this team the strongest as we get a timeout from Santa Fe. Their final of the set, but as I was saying, this is where this team thrives for Merritt Island is the middle section of the sets. I look between about point eight and about point 18 or 20. This is where this Mustang team, you'll see if they're gonna drop a set, is where if they struggle during this section, they're most likely gonna drop this set, but we haven't seen them struggle in the middle points of these sections lately and uh, these sets lately. And this is where they've gapped teams like they did against Tavares earlier this week, like they did against Satellite in the district championship uh, as well. So they've had some close calls, but this is where Merritt Island seems to thrive in these games is in the middle 10 points of the set. And you see it here as they've really started to grow a lead over Santa Fe here as they lead it 13 to five. Santa Fe already out of timeouts here in the opening set. They trail 13 to five. Shamaya Richardson back to serve coming off of her 54th ace of the season. Served by Richardson, good receive by Santa Fe up front and sent over by Brooke Finley. Set by Loggins now to Bella Schwanz. Schwanz blocked up front, sent over by Santa Fe. Nice play by the Raiders up front. Aveline Krauser tips it over. Collision on the receive. And Santa Fe will get it over. Nice play once again by the Raiders. Finley free ball. Nice kill attempt by Richardson with a big dig. Schwanz will get it over cross court. Santa Fe is there. Awkward set there by Santa Fe. And it goes off of Morgan Lawson to the floor. 14-5, Merritt Island leads by nine. Checking in for Santa Fe is Delaney Wingenbach. And also checking in for Santa Fe is Reagan Matthews. As that sends Carly Noah and Delaney Wingenbach to the bench. Shamaya Richardson to serve again. Mustangs lead by nine. Angle to the outside there to Finley. And Finley kills it down the line. Hits that line. Nice play there by Brooke Finley. 14-6 now the lead for Merritt Island. Checking back in for Santa Fe is Delaney Wingenbach. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Alexis Roden. Roden serve received by Schwantz. Set by Loggins up front. And the kill attempt goes out of bounds there for Merritt Island up front off of Lexi Michelle, 14-7. And serve there for Alexis Roden once again, set by Loggins off the net, back to Aveline Krauser. Good receive by Santa Fe up front. Kill attempt is blocked by Michelle and Krauser. Sent over by Finley back to Richardson. Set outside for Bella Schwanz, who plays it into the middle of the floor. Set low, kill attempt into the net for Delaney Wingenbach. 15-7, the lead for Merritt Island. And checking in. No substitution for Santa Fe. Checking in for Merritt Island is Emma Michelle for Aveline Krauser. Back to serve for Merritt Island is the libero, Sarah Niazzi. It is 15-7 Mustangs here midway through. Midway through set number one here in this regional semifinal match. Again, the winner of this game has a date with either Bishop Moore or Mount Dora on Wednesday. Thanks, or uh, not Thanksgiving, Halloween Eve on Wednesday. <laughs> I 
Niazi with the serve received by Peyton English, set outside. Nice block up front by Michelle, and grabs her another one. Back-to-back -back blocks for Merritt Island. Back outside, they can't get three in a row. Richardson back up front, Emma Michelle plays it over the head there on the third touch, set by Santa Fe. And another block by Merritt Island, that one falls for the point. What a play by Lexi Michelle. Great net presence by Merritt Island, three blocks on that rally. 16-7, Merritt Island leads by nine. Niazi back to serve for Merritt Island. Received by Finley, set low. Finley run up, kill. Nice play by Finley, angling that to the outside to Loggins. Checking back in for Santa Fe after an extended time on the bench was Gia McCrew, their kills leader. She was, she was big early with three kills in the first, I want to say five points. But Santa Fe leads, trails by eight now. It's 16 to eight. Back at the service line for Santa Fe now is Brooke Finley. Finley serve going deep, received by Schwantz, set up front. Bella Schwantz too deep on the kill attempt. Good court vision by Santa Fe. 16-9 now, Merritt Island's lead falls to seven. Set far from over here. Finley to serve again for Santa Fe. Santa Fe serve received by Bella Schwantz. Bump set up front, Schwantz blocked up front. Nice play by Santa Fe. Again, it's blocked by Delaney Wingenbach. Richardson playing it deep to Finley. Up by the net, here comes McGrew. Good receive by Richardson, set by Loggins up front to Bella Schwantz. Tipped at the net, but it does get over. Set low, tipped over by Wingenbach, out of bounds. Niazi dove for it. Luckily comes up short. Merritt Island leads 17-9. Checking in for the Mustangs will be Juliana Dush and Elena Martin. Subbing out is Lexi Michelle and Reese Loggins. Dush at the service line for the first time tonight. 17-9, the lead for Merritt Island here. Late in set number one, low serve. Santa Fe can't keep it up, that's an ace for Dutch. 18-9, Merritt Island has doubled up the Raiders. Checking back in for Santa Fe now is, or checking in for the first time is Avery Cole. Dutch to serve coming off the ace, it's 18-9. Dutch to serve, going very deep. Good receive by Cole, set outside to McGrew. Down the line, Richardson digs it out again. Backside set, Elena Martin is blocked by McGrew. And Merritt Island can't keep that ball up. That's a big block by Gia McGrew. 18-10, now the lead for Merritt Island. Checking back in for the Raiders is gonna be Amari Carlisle and Grayson Marshall. Serve coming for Grayson Marshall, their ace leader. Received by Niazi. Set outside, Elena Martin down the line. Good dig by Santa Fe. Back outside to McGrew, tipping it into the middle. Schwantz digs it out, Dutch back set. Over to Elena Martin. Now Santa Fe looking for a return. McGrew trying to kill it deep, straight to Richardson. Set by Dutch up front to Emma Michelle. It's blocked by Wingenbach again. Richardson gets it over. Up front, McGrew out of bounds. 19-10, the lead for Merritt Island. And Coach Eric Marshall not happy on that sideline about a call. Still pleading his case, it's not gonna change. Gotta be careful here. Schwantz at the service line, Merritt Island leads 19-10, low serve, set outside to McGrew. Tries to put that one through the floor, but it's too long. Merritt Island first one to 20 as they have hit a double digit lead for the first time in this game. It's 20 to 10. Merritt Island. Keep it up, girls. Let's go. Schwantz at the service line for the Mustangs. They lead by 10 here in set number one. Schwantz serve low, good receive by Finley. Gets over for Cole. Received by Niazi, set by Dutch backside. Elena Martin with the kill for Merritt Island. Tipped at the net, but it drops anyway. And Merritt Island leading 21 to 10. I gotta say, they're playing lights out here in the opening set, four points away from a set win. But I'll tell you what, the later you get in these playoffs, the harder it's gonna be to just put away a set. Santa Fe's gonna fight here. Schwantz with the serve, received by McGrew, coming way over to the bench. Santa Fe can't keep it alive, that's an ace 
for Bella Schwantz, her 45th of the season. 22-10, Merritt Island leads by 12. Schwantz serve, received by McGrew into the stands. Back-to-back -back aces for Bella Schwantz. Merritt Island leads 23 to 10. And the big thing to keep in mind is Santa Fe's been out of timeouts for the last 10, 12 points. So they don't have a way to stop this run really here besides getting a point back themselves. They're gonna have to earn it here. Schwantz at the service line, Merritt Island leads it by 13. And that's three consecutive aces for Bella Schwantz. That one off of Del Avery Cole. What a run for Schwantz. Set point for the Merritt Island Mustangs leading by 14. What a performance here in set one for the Lady Mustang. Schwantz looking for set point here. They lead it 24 to 10. Serve, awkward receive. Four aces in a row for Bella Schwantz and the Merritt Island Mustangs take set one in dominating fashion, 25 to 10. What a serve, or what a set by Merritt Island and what a run to close it out. Four straight aces for Bella Schwantz. And Merritt Island takes the one set lead over Santa Fe, 25 to 10. We'll take a break here and be back in about two and a half minutes for the start of set number two. Mustangs take the first set by 15 points. Welcome back here to the Brevard Sports Network. Merritt Island takes a commanding set one win here over Santa Fe, 25 to 10. And I was saying during the break, I personally think that may have been Merritt Island's most cohesive set of the season, considering opponent and performance. I mean, they never missed a beat there. And they take set one by 15 points over Santa Fe. And looking at this series history, one and one all time. Most recent matchup was in 2021. Santa Fe took it in straight sets over Merritt Island. Whereas Merritt Island took them in straight sets three years prior in 2018. Now the interesting note there, 2018 when Merritt Island straight set them, Merritt Island won the state championship. In 2021 when Santa Fe straight set Merritt Island, Santa Fe won the state championship. So the two years these two teams have played, the winner of that game has won a state title. Now those are the little superstitious stats you pick up as a broadcaster that may end up meaning nothing but as long as history says the winner of this game goes on to win a state championship. What a start for Merritt Island. 25-10 set one win over Santa Fe. Mustangs have not lost a set in three weeks. It's 
Santa Fe's most recent set loss was last week to Satellite in their opening match. And they won three to one. Merritt Island beat Tavares to get here in straight sets earlier this week. In common opponents, both these teams have lost to the same uh, common opponent. That was Olympia from Orlando. They both lost to in a tournament. Besides that, they're both undefeated against all their common opponents, I believe, are Merritt Island, uh, Satellite, uh, Forest, and a few other teams, but they beat all the same teams and lost to the same common opponent as well. So similar teams on paper, but in set one, Merritt Island took it by 15 points, 25 to 10. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Grayson Marshall looking to get things going for Santa Fe. Set up front, Emma Michelle with the kill. To get things started for Merritt Island in set number two, leading one to nothing. Michelle is a freshman, and her first, well, her second playoff game of her young career, making a big play there. It's one nothing Merritt Island. They actually fell behind early in set one, two to zero, but once they took the lead three to two, they never relinquished it. Schwantz with the serve received by Santa Fe, backside set, and a nice kill on the other end there by Delaney Wingenbach. Attacking Merritt Island straight on there. It's one to one here in set number two. Back to serve for Libero. Uh, Santa Fe now donning a Libero jersey is Reagan Atkins. Atkins serve received by Richardson. Set by Jones up front. Shamaya Richardson drops it low. Nice dig by McGrew and the kill. And the kill there by Alexis Roden, but the point's going to go to Merritt Island. Roden was in the net. That's a good call. Back to serve for Merritt Island will be Amber Ives. Mustangs lead 2-1 to one here in set number two. Ives serve, received by McGrew. Set low. Tipped over. Nice block by Elena Martin for the kill. It's 3-1. Merritt Island leads off the kill by Martin off the free ball. Serve coming for Amber Ives. It's 3-1 Merritt Island. Serve received by Finley. Outside McGrew with a big time kill. And McGrew will sub out after that one. Coming in is going to be Peyton English. Checking in for Merritt Island is Sarah Niazzi. Along with, I believe, Abilene Krauser. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Peyton English. Raiders trail by one here in set two. It's three to two, Merritt Island. That serve clips the tape. Krauser was there, but it wasn't a receive she was ready for. That'll be an ace for Peyton English, and we're tied at three here in set number two. Peyton English to serve, we're tied at three. Received by Schwantz, backside set, Elena Martin tipped at the net, ball gets over. And third touch has to go for Santa Fe, it does. Now set by Jones, Aveline Krauser with the kill for Merritt Island. Going deep, 4-3 the lead for Merritt Island. Subbing in for the Mustangs will be Reese Loggins and Lexi Michelle coming out as Elena Martin and Annabelle Jones. Reese Loggins with the serve is low. Dug out by Atkins, set back side. Tipped over by Carlisle. Now a set cross court back to Bella Schwantz who gets it over. And we're gonna get a whistle and it's gonna go to Merritt Island. Didn't catch the call there but the Coach Marshall still displeased with the call. 5-3 Merritt Island lead now. Awkward receive by Santa Fe. Outside big time block by Lexi Michelle and Shamaya Richardson. It is 6-3 Merritt Island now here in set two. Three consecutive points for the Mustangs. And this is very similar to set one where they took off. Santa Fe's got to keep it tight here. Login serve going deep, received going up towards the net. Santa Fe keeps it off the net. The tip doesn't get over from Alexis Roden. Merritt Island leads 7-2-3 here in set two. And Santa Fe is going to take their first time out of set two now. 
It is seven to three, Merritt Island. Once again, I'd like to thank Martinez Construction, the best in the business for all your design, construction, and build needs. And uh, we'd like to thank them and definitely recommend everybody check out Martinez Construction Services at 321-349-2000 or online at www.martinezconstruction.com. I'd also like to thank the Florida High School Athletic Association and remind everybody any rebroadcast, retransmission, or uh, non-permitted broadcasting is, well, prohibited by the Florida High School Athletic Association and the Brevard Sports Network. And uh, any illegal broadcast or rebroadcast could bring sanctions against yourself or your team. I'd like to remind everyone as well to make their plans to attend the uh, Girls Volleyball State Championships in Polk County this uh, coming month here. And uh, all that information is on FHSAA.com. We've got a lot of teams that can make it there this season. This Merritt Island team looking uh, capable. Vieira looking solid so far to be a team that could make it back. And uh, don't count out teams like Bayside either uh, to see who we could have playing in Polk County. Set backside and kill attempt down the line off of Niazi coming off the roof. Schwantz gets under it. Krauser gets it over. And the first touch goes over for Santa Fe. Up front, Lexi Michelle is blocked. Blocked out of bounds by Alexis Roden. Merritt Island wins the timeout. It's 8-3 to three Mustangs. And Loggins to serve again. Going deep. Awkward receive. Back off the roof for the ace by Reese Loggins. 9-3 the lead for Merritt Island. Checking in for Santa Fe will be Briley Kuhn for Alexis Roden. Serve there for Loggins. Awkward receive, but Santa Fe keeps it alive and gets it over off of Peyton English. Loggins set up front, and the kill attempt by Michelle is dug out by Adkins. Fake set, sent over. Awkward adjustment, Loggins digs it out from the floor. Krauser gets it over for the kill. And that's just good perseverance by Merritt Island there. That looked like it was gonna be a Santa Fe point for sure, but down on the floor, I believe it was Schwantz that got it up or Loggins that got it up from the floor, good play. 10-3, the lead now for Merritt Island. Kill attempt, great dig by Niazi up front. Bella Schwantz with the kill attempt. Received by Grayson Marshall, cross court kill attempt now for Peyton English. Third touch gets over, Logan set, Aveline Krauser with the kill for Merritt Island. Off of Peyton English, Merritt Island leads 11 to three there on an 8-0 scoring run. Served by Loggins in the net. Only the second service mistake we've seen in this game for Merritt Island now it makes it 11-4. Checking in for Santa Fe is Kylie Roden and back to serve is Morgan Lawson. Raiders trail 11-4. Lawson to serve, received by Niazi, set by Loggins outside. Bella Schwantz with the kill. Blocked down and caught by Briley Coon. 12-4, the lead for Merritt Island. Shamaya Richardson back to serve for Merritt Island, their ace leader. And Richardson's been really big in this game, not necessarily on the scoreboard, but has had a lot of big ace or, um, digs there. Sends into the net, though, not what Merritt Island needs, 12-5. Checking in for Santa Fe now will be Avery Cole, and she will head back to serve. Santa Fe trailing 12-5 here in set two, and one that the Raiders would absolutely love to have to try and avoid having to win three in a row. Serve coming for Cole. Received by Niazi, set by Loggins up towards the net. Bella Schwantz goes too deep. Santa Fe gets another point back, makes it 12 to six. They've taken three, they've taken three of the last four points here. As the Raiders getting a run going, Cole serve, received by Schwantz, set by Loggins is low. Lexi Michelle angles it out, too far out. Out of bounds, it's 12-7 Merritt Island, but Santa Fe's taken now four of the last five points, here come the Raiders. 
Cole to serve. Too deep, that's gonna end their run. It's 13-7, Merritt Island checking in for the Raiders is Briley Kuhn and Reagan Adkins. Checking out for Santa Fe is Briley Kuhn and Avery Cole. Sarah Niazzi at the service line for Merritt Island. They lead 13 to seven. Low serve, dug out. Santa Fe keeps it alive. Too far out of bounds though. 14-7 now the lead goes back up to seven for Merritt Island. Niazi back to serve again for Merritt Island. They lead it 14 to seven. That serve to the outside, received by English. Shet up towards the net. And the kill attempt there, received by Reese Loggins. Bump set backside, Bella Schwantz with the kill attempt going off of English. Outside set, set over in three, tipped by Merritt Island. Great play there by English. And the kill by Brooke Finley. 14-8, the lead for Merritt Island. Checking back in for Santa Fe is gonna be their kills leader, Gia McCrew. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Brooke Finley as the Raiders are back within six. Up towards the net, Loggins with the set. Bella Schwantz with the kill. Uncontested on that one. Schwantz puts it through the floor. Adds to her total for the season. Checking in for Merritt Island is Juliana Dush and Elena Martin. Checking out is Lexi Michelle and Reese Loggins. 15-8 the lead for Merritt Island. But Santa Fe has hung around here. They just need another run in this set. Merritt Island 10 points away from a set win. Leading by seven. Dush serve is low. Received by Atkins. Set outside from McGrew with the big time kill there. Fifteen nine, the lead now cut down to six. Checking in for Santa Fe is going to be Amari Carlisle and Grayson Marshall. Marshall back to serve. Marshall to serve for the Raiders. Fifteen nine is the score in favor of Merritt Island. Received by Shamaya Richardson, set by Juliana Dush, Emma Michelle to the outside. Taken in by Adkins outside. McGrew with the kill attempt blocked out by Merritt Island. I'll tell you what, she put everything behind that one. I don't know if that was blockable. Valiant effort by Merritt Island, but that goes straight out of bounds. 15-10 the lead for Merritt Island. Back to serve again for Santa Fe as their ace leader, Grayson Marshall. Marshall serve, received by Richardson. Set by Dush outside to Elena Martin. It drops nicely. Second time she's made that play happen by just flicking that ball over the net. 16-10 the lead for Merritt Island. Schwanz back to serve again for Merritt Island. Ended set one in a four ace run. Looking to ignite a run like that again here. Served to McGrew, set back outside, backside. And the kill attempt there received and Martin will get it over, and Martin with the kill. What a play by Merritt Island. It goes off the roof. Merritt Island keeps it alive and gets it over in three. 17-10, the lead for Merritt Island. Schwantz back to serve. Schwantz serve is low, received by Reagan Atkins, set outside. Kill attempt by McGrew, tipped to the net, back to Schwantz. Dutch back set to Martin. Going too deep there, no contact made at the net. 17-11, the lead cut back to six. Back to serve for Santa Fe, the libero, Reagan Adkins. The freshman. We haven't seen Carly Noah, their starting libero in a while. Potential, as that one goes long, as I was saying, I don't know if she was injured at any point or just taking a break here, but we haven't seen Noah since early in the first set. Checking in for... Merritt Island will be Amber Ives heading back to serve. Ives to serve for Merritt Island. They lead it 18-11 here in set number two. Now Santa Fe already putting up more points in set two than they did in the entirety of set one. Got to keep the heat on though if you're the Raiders. Served by Ives. Received by Finley outside to McGrew with the kill. 
She adds another one to the count. 18-12 the lead for Merritt Island. Checking in for Santa Fe will be Peyton English. And Michelle subbing out. Checking in for Merritt Island will be Sarah Niazzi. Back to serve for the Raiders is Peyton English. That serve received, set outside, and Aveline Krauser with the kill attempt received by English up front, tipped over by Finley. Dutch gets it up, Schwantz gets it over for the kill attempt, free ball gets over, Merritt Island doesn't communicate on it. 18-13, and the thing you gotta do there for Merritt Island is go up for that ball and not let it fall to you. That could have been an easy kill, and they just let it fall. 18-13. Serve received by Niazzi, set by Dush. Backside to Elena Martin for the kill for Merritt Island. Nice play by Martin outside, makes it 19-13 Merritt Island. By the way, Gia McCrew currently fourth in the state of Florida for kills for Santa Fe. Just something to keep an eye on, but she is back on the bench here after the latest round of substitutions. 19-13 Merritt Island leads Loggins to serve. That free ball, Lexi Michelle tries to drop it over. Good receive by the Raiders. Up front is Loggins, set for Aveline Krauser with the kill for Merritt Island. Going off of Grayson Marshall, 20 to 13, second set in a row, Merritt Island first to 20. They lead by seven. Now this time Santa Fe does still have a timeout. We'll see it when or if they choose to use it. Merritt Island leading 20 to 13. Loggins serve is low, receive by Santa Fe, backside set to Finley, off of Schwantz, going off the roof, bouncing back to Schwantz. That ball gets over and that is not, that's a missed call by the official, Schwantz doubled on that. Merritt Island gets the kill. And I admit, I agree with Coach Marshall on that one, that is a double on Schwantz. She hit it, it went off the roof and went right back to Schwantz. I do agree there uh, with Coach Marshall, but we'll see what if they, if they are convinced to overturn the call, but from what I can tell, unless the roof somehow negates it, she hit it twice in a row. They are gonna change the point there, and that's a good call, but that's one you kinda get caught up in the roof, and the official may not have noticed that it was the same player, but that was definitely Bella Schwanz twice. After all the challenges, Santa Fe gets one back here. It's 20 to 14. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Morgan Lawson. Low serve received by Niazzi, set up front. Lexi Michelle with the kill attempt. Received well by Santa Fe and sent over by Kylie Roden. Samaya Richardson into the middle, nobody's there to receive it. And the kill for Merritt Island. It is 21-14, Mustangs. And that's one you see a little bit too often in just volleyball in general, just a soft center of the zone and if you can get uh, a defense to spread out, it's just a simple play like that. Don't have to kill the ball, just drop it down in the middle and nobody's in position to take it. Richardson with the serve for Merritt Island. Miscommunication on the receive, ball somehow stays alive off the dig and sent over by Peyton English. Merritt Island up front, Bella Schwantz with the kill attempt. Ball gets back over and won. But it can't go over with assist from the roof so that is out of bounds. Santa Fe out of timeouts now here in set number two. They trail 22 to 14. Boy, this one's been fun so far. Merritt Island three points away from winning the first two sets. And again, for any confusion, the, dis the difference there is it can go off the roof, but it can't, the roof can't aid with the ball getting over the net in any way, even though that one probably would have gone over anyway. Uh, if the last touch of the ball is off of the roof or anything out of play, it's out of bounds. So if that ball would have hit the roof and came back down, then they could have played it, but uh, it got over with help from the roof. Once again, I'd like to thank Martinez Construction Services and the Florida High School Athletic Association. Martinez Construction, the sponsor tonight, and the FHSAA, the provider and the overall state sponsor of Florida's uh, high school sports and uh, the organizers of the state tournaments. All the brackets and rankings are on the FHSAA's website at www.fhsaa.com. The winner of this game will face the winner of Bishop Moore and Mount Dora on Wednesday. 
Richardson back to serve again for Merritt Island. They lead 22 to 14 in set number two. Richardson serve. A deep, good receive. Ball set up towards the net. Free ball drop shy of the net. Merritt Island wins the timeout. They lead it 23 14. Shmaya Richardson to serve again for Merritt Island. That is their ace leader. Looking for some aces here. Merritt Island two points away from taking the first two sets. Richardson serve right on down the line. Received by English. Set up front. Finley goes off of Niazi with a big time kill. Nice play by Brooke Finley. Finley, their second kills leader. And checking in for Santa Fe will be at Reagan Matthews, and she will head back to serve. 23-15, Merritt Island's lead here in set two, but the Raiders are not rolling over just yet. Serve for Matthews, received by Niazi, set by Loggins. Cross court to Bella Schwanz, who plays that around the antenna. Makes it 23-16. Santa Fe not giving up here, got some fight. 23-16 Mustangs. Back to serve again for Santa Fe is Reagan Matthews. Matthews serve over to Shamaya Richardson. Set by Loggins, backside to Aveline Krauser. Big time block there by Brooke Finley and Delaney Wingenbach. 23-17 the lead now for Merritt Island. Back to serve for Santa Fe again is Reagan Matthews. Matthews serve, deep received by Niazi, set by Loggins, cross court. Bella Schwanz with a big kill. Set point for Merritt Island, it's 24-17. Santa Fe's come out a lot better here in set two, but it, if they can't get this next few, the next seven points, it won't be enough. Sarah Niazi to serve for Merritt Island with set point. 24-17, Merritt Island leads. Niazi to serve, set point for Merritt Island, it's 24-17. Niazi serve, receive, goes into the net, off the net, still alive and over for Kylie Roden. Nice play set outside, Bella Schwanz trying to play it down the line, doesn't get it over the net. 24-18, still set point for Merritt Island, but checking back in the game is gonna be Gia McCrew. Santa Fe's point leader right up front. Set point again for Merritt Island, but it's Brooke Finley at the service line. Finley serve, received by Schwantz, set by Loggins, Emma Michelle. Block's gonna go out of bounds, Emma Michelle ends it with the kill. Merritt Island takes the first two sets over Santa Fe and are one set away from going to the regional finals as they win set number two, 25 to 18 over Santa Fe. As we will take a break for the next two and a half minutes as do the players and then we'll be back for a decisive set number three after Merritt Island Takes set one by 15 and set two by seven.
Welcome you back here to Merritt Island High School. Set number three is set to begin. For Santa Fe, it's season on the line. They gotta win the next three sets to advance to the regional finals for Merritt Island. It's one more set. And they're going to the regional finals with a chance to go back to the state final four for the second year in a row. Santa Fe's gotta bring it here. They lost set one by 15. It was a lot better in set two, but still lost 25-18. They're going to have to bring everything in the kitchen sink to win set three, four, and five to move on. At this point, for your seniors, for yourselves, that season on the line, everything has got to be brought here for Santa Fe, for Merritt Island. They, they can't feel the pressure here. They just got to go in and play as they have, because if they do that, I don't know if Santa Fe can challenge them. This has been some of the strongest volleyball Merritt Island's played as of late, possibly throughout the season. So a lot still to be determined here. But it is two sets to zero in favor of Merritt Island. They've outscored Santa Fe by 22 points through the first two sets. Back to serve for Merritt Island to start set number three as Juliana Dush. This could decide a team season here in set number three. It's all gonna come down to it. Dush with the serve, low serve, dug out on the receive by the libero, Peyton English. And McGrew starts it out with a kill, blocked out by Merritt Island. One nothing for Santa Fe to start set number three. Nice start. Checking in for Santa Fe is Amari Carlisle. Back to serve for the Raiders is their ace leader, Grayson Marshall. Raiders lead at 1-0. I believe their first lead since set number one. Deep shot received by Merritt Island. Elena Martin tips it short. And that's the third time she's gotten that exact play to work here on the near side. It's 1-1 one one here in set number three. And that's where you can just see a the mark of a good volleyball player, the decision to pull out of a full kill attempt and go for that finesse tip. And uh, Martin's done that successfully three times. Serve for Bella Schwantz, received by Santa Fe, going off the roof, bouncing down. McGrew pops it over in three. Touch, fake set, sent over. McGrew gets a hand on it up front. She plays it deep to Schwantz. Outside is Richardson playing it over, low dig, set outside for McGrew with the kill attempt, blocked by Michelle and Martin up front. Nice dig though on the near side by Marshall. Set over in three for Santa Fe. Set by Dutch, and the kill attempt for Martin is blocked straight to the floor. And it's 2-1, Merritt Island with the lead. Nice kill up front by Merritt Island. They lead for the first time here in set number three. Gotta tell you, the, the energy in here is electric from both sides, point for point. Schwantz the serve received by English, set back side. And the kill attempt in the net for Delaney Wingenbach. 3-1 the lead now for Merritt Island as they've gotten the last three points. Back to serve for Merritt Island is Bella Schwantz. Schwantz served, received by Gia McGrew up front. McGrew with the kill there for Santa Fe. Much needed point for the Raiders. Subbing out for Santa Fe will be Peyton English. Coming in is Alexis Roden. It's 3-2 Merritt Island. Back to serve for the Raiders is Delaney Wingenbach. Wingenbach serve too deep. Gives the point back to Merritt Island. It's 4-2 Mustangs. Checking back in for Santa Fe will be Peyton English. Checking in for Merritt Island is Amber Ives. Ives and Krauser come in for Michelle and Niazi. Interesting receive formation here for Santa Fe. And it goes outside to Finley. Sent over by McGrew, deep to Schwantz. Set by Dutch, near side to Martin. Martin tips short, nice dig. There by Santa Fe, set back side. Shamaya Richardson cross court, another big dig but nobody there to receive it. Two big plays by Grayson Marshall, not enough. It is 4-2 the lead now for Merritt Island. Amber Ives to serve. 5-2 the lead for Merritt Island. Serve received for Finley, fake set, dropped over. Nice play by Grayson Marshall. Nice fake set by the number 13 for the Raiders. As now Emma Michelle will check in for Merritt Island and Reagan Atkins will check in for Santa Fe, but notably Gia McCrew back to the sideline. Their kills leader, and this is where Merritt Island needs to attack that front line. 
Reagan Adkins back to serve for Santa Fe. Adkins to serve, received by Richardson. Set by Dutch, backside to Bella Schwanz, tipping it short, nice dig again by Marshall for the point. And Grayson Marshall is taking over set number three for Santa Fe. 5-4. The lead for Merritt Island back down to one. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Reagan Adkins. Adkins serve, going deep, received by Schwantz, set by Dutch. Abilene Krauser with the kill for Merritt Island. Going off of Peyton English. 6-4 the lead for Merritt Island. Checking in for the Mustangs will be Annabelle Jones and Lexi Michelle. It is 6-4, the lead for the Mustangs now. Jones back to serve for the Mustangs. They lead it 6-4. Jones serve is low, it's an ace for Annabelle Jones going off of Reagan Atkins. It is 7-4 now, the lead for Merritt Island. I mentioned it for two sets, I'll make it a third. This is the point in the set where you see Merritt Island either take off or if Santa Fe can get a lot of points here and you see a serve in the net to begin it. This is the point in the set where Santa Fe needs to take control. Back to uh, back in the game for Santa Fe is Briley Kuhn and Morgan Lawson with Lawson at the service line. That serve received by Niazi, set by Jones up front. Lexi Michelle with the kill for Merritt Island, tipped at the net. 8 5, the lead for the Merritt Island Mustangs here in set number three. For them on the line, this set is a trip to the regional finals if they win it. For the rest of the way, what's on the line is uh, for Santa Fe is their season. They have to win the next three sets to make it out of here with a, uh, another game on the schedule. Set cross court into the middle. Angled over by Finley, set by Niazi. Bella Schwantz with the kill down the line. Nice play by Bella Schwantz, adds another one to her tally. A team leading tally. 9-5 the lead for Merritt Island here in set three. Shamaya Richardson back to serve and there is the first time out of the set for Santa Fe. Their fifth time out taken in this match now. And it's nine to five here in set number three. And the Raiders take the time out trailing by four. We'd have a break in the action like think Martinez Construction Services once again, the best in the business and all your construction design and build needs. Have all the best experience and all the best knowledge of the business in the county and you can call them at 321-349-2000 or online at www.martinezconstruction.com. I'd also like to thank the Florida High School Athletic Association for granting permission to broadcast. I'd like to remind everyone to check them out online or on social media at FHSAA or at the FHSAA.com. And uh, they are the uh, host and sponsor of the uh, uh, Girls Volleyball State Championships hosted by Polk County Schools this, this year. And make sure to check out the FHSA's website for information regarding the state championships uh, along with all the brackets uh, for all classifications in high school volleyball. Shamaya Richardson back to serve for Merritt Island coming out of the timeout. They lead it 9-5. to five. Set backside and Rhodes with the kill attempt was tipped by Merritt Island going long kill by Alexis Roden. And it's 9-6 the lead now as Santa Fe wins the timeout. I believe that's the first of their five timeouts that they have won the ensuing point. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Peyton English received by Richardson. Set by Jones up for Bella Schwantz into the net. Another point for Santa Fe makes it 9-7 here in set number three. Back to serve again for Santa Fe is Peyton English. Three sets, three different liberos in this game for Santa Fe. English serve, received by Niazi. Set by Jones, up to Bella Schwanz. Playing it deep over to Adkins, outside to Finley. Finley, where nobody is on the cross court. Nice kill by Brooke Finley. It's 9-8, Merritt Island. 4-0 run for Santa Fe. One point away from tying it, English serve. Low received by Niazi, set by Jones up front. Lexi Michelle is blocked. Pops that ball back over. Set up front. 
And Wingenbach with the kill as the block is out of bounds for Merritt Island. 5-0, the biggest run of the match for Santa Fe, and we're tied at nine in set number three. And this will be the first time out of the match for Coach Angie Patrick. All the way here in the third set, and here come the Raiders with their best run of the match. And the biggest point for them. We are tied at nine here in the regional semifinals, and chance to take a breath as this one setting up to be a big set. Tied at nine early on. Merritt Island can win the match with a set win here, but Santa Fe is playing for their season here. And got to at least, well, there's no at least, they've got to win the next three sets to move on. And it all starts with this one. Tied at nine, both coaches now have taken a timeout. Santa Fe on a 5-0 scoring run since they trailed nine to four. Continuing to serve for Santa Fe will be Peyton English coming out of the Merritt Island timeout. Nine to nine here in set number three. Serve low, received by Niazi. Set by Jones outside. Bella Schwantz in the net. And, and they're going to say Santa Fe was in the net. So Merritt Island takes the lead out of the timeout. It's 10-9 Mustangs. Niazi back to serve for Merritt Island. They lead it 10 to nine here in set number three. Yazi to serve, back received by Atkins. Up front, free ball dropped by Emma Michelle. On the block, it's 11-9, Merritt Island now. Checking in for the Raiders will be at Reagan Matthews coming in for. Checking in for Reagan Atkins. Sarah Niazi to serve again for Merritt Island. They lead 11-9 here in set number three. Niazi serve going deep, received by English, set up front. And the kill attempt received by Richardson. Jones sets. And the kill by Bella Schwantz. Merritt Island now on a 3-0 run. Come out of their own timeout. It's 12-9 Mustangs. Niazi back to serve for Merritt Island. Niazi serve received by Finley. Set back outside. Wingenbach tries to kill it. Awkward received by Merritt Island. That'll end their, their scoring run. 12-10 the lead for Merritt Island. Checking back in for Santa Fe is Gia McGrew. Back to serve is Brooke Finley. Finley back to serve for Santa Fe. They trail 12-10, now 13-10 as Finley sends it too long. And checking in for Merritt Island will be Bella, Juliana Dutch and Elena Martin. Checking out is Annabelle Jones and Lexi Michelle. Juliana Dutch back to serve. 13-10 the lead for Merritt Island. Dutch the serve, received now by Santa Fe up towards the net, just tipped over in two. That's gonna be a double on Santa Fe. 14-10 the lead for Merritt Island, and immediately Santa Fe challenging the call once again, but I don't think anything's gonna change on this one. They'll argue their case of the R1, but. I think the only argument they had was that Merritt Island reached over the net, but that wouldn't affect the double whatsoever, because the double happened before the jump. And they're still arguing here. Yeah, Coach Eric Marshall cannot believe it, but the more he talks, I mean, he's, I'm just saying he's getting lucky here. And I've, I've seen FHSA officials not give that kind of talk, but there's the kill Santa Fe needs up front with Delaney Wingenbach. And the Raiders are far from out of it. It's still 14-11 here in set three. They only trail by three. Grayson Marshall back to serve for Santa Fe. It's 14-11. Mustangs received by Richardson. Set by Dutch. Martin with the kill attempt going low. Two good digs for Santa Fe and they'll get it over in three. Received by Niazi. Set by Dutch. Bella Schwanz tips it short. Nice play by Bella Schwanz for the point. 15-11 the lead for Merritt Island. 
And Santa Fe is out of timeouts here. I'm not a coach, but in my opinion, I think it's too early for that. You need that timeout late. And you're close right now, it's only 15-11. Coach Marshall is beside himself right now. Santa Fe only trails by four, and 15-11, uh, the Raiders are well in it, but going on for this must-win set, they will have no more timeouts. And we'll see how that makes an impact. And the reason I say anything about it is because they did this in set one, and then Merritt Island went on a huge run and won by 15, and they didn't have a way to slow them down. In set two, they held a timeout until uh, the 20s, and albeit they didn't come back, but they definitely had that in their back pocket. And right here, they don't have it uh, the rest of the way. Santa Fe out of timeouts. Merritt Island with one left here in set three. The Mustangs lead it 15 to 11. Bella Schwanz back to serve for the Mustangs. Received by Finley. Ball kept up towards the net. McGrew gets it over to Niazi. Set by Dutch up front. Bella Schwan sails it. Santa Fe will win the timeout. It's 15-12. Raiders staying within three. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Delaney Wingenbach. Wingenbach serve. Received by Niazi. Set by Dutch up front. To Shamaya Richardson. Tipped to the net. Ball gets hit off the net. Santa Fe keeps it alive, but nobody out to keep it up. 16-12 now the lead for Merritt Island. Checking in for Santa Fe is Peyton English. Checking in for Merritt Island is Aveline Krauser. And Amber Ives with Ives back to serve. Merritt Island leads 16-12 and are nine points away from a trip back to the regional finals. Serve there for Ives. Low receive by English. Backside set. McGrew with the kill for Santa Fe. Cuts it back to three, it's 16-13, Merritt Island. But the big thing to know, McGrew will check out after the kill. And checking in for McGrew will be at Reagan Matthews. And that game between Mountain Dora and Bishop Moore, who the winner of this game will face the winner of that game. That game starts at five, set by Martin. Cross court, just gets over the net. Nice free ball drop by Amari Carlisle. 16-14, Santa Fe keeping it tight. Textbook play taken advantage by Santa Fe there on the free ball. Reagan Matthews with the serve received by Bella Schwan, set by Dutch. And the kill attempt, nice dig by Santa Fe, keeping it off the floor. They get it over in three. Set by Dutch cross court, Shamaya Richardson. Too far, but it is a double on Santa Fe before the kill attempt. 17-14 the lead for Merritt Island. Santa Fe arguing their case once again, but they've been successful one time and I don't think this is gonna be two. And the yellow card getting pulled out of the pocket here. And they're gonna get handed one. Santa Fe gets a yellow card. Yes, in volleyball. I've never seen one, but I'm assuming it's for whatever was said during that exchange there. I do know most rules of this sport, but I don't know what a yellow card entails. But Santa Fe did just get handed one. And Merritt Island is fired up. A yellow card in volleyball, I'm gonna sound smart, I'm, I, am, I will admit I'm reading this definition, is a warning given by a referee to a player or coach for bad behavior during a match. Um, and it, in most cases, just concerns uh, interactions with officials. So that is what the yellow card means, it is a warning. Um, so yeah, concerning um, interactions with officials. So. That has been issued to Santa Fe. Doesn't mean anything for points wise, but something to keep note of. It is 17-14, the lead for Merritt Island here in set number three. Coming off the double call. Merritt Island eight points away from a three set win to advance to the regional finals. Near side official talking to Coach Marshall here after the yellow card was issued. 
I don't know if it was to the player that went over or to the coach on the sideline. I don't know. Uh, but either way, it's against Santa Fe. Nothing's going to change. Doubles the call. 17-14. Merritt Island leads with Annabelle Jones at the service line. Jones going deep. Received by English. Bump set up towards the net. Tipped over by Finley. Blocked by Merritt Island. Krauser pops it up. Jones sets. Shamaya Richardson down the line. Received by Carlisle. Up towards the net. Finley down the line to Schwantz on the receive. Set by Jones. Aveline Krauser with the kill for Merritt Island. 18-14, the lead for Merritt Island. Seven points away. Annabelle Jones to serve for the Mustangs. They lead at 18-14. Again, Santa Fe out of timeouts. Jones serve, received by Peyton English. Sent over, blocked up front by Krauser. And Lexi Michelle with the block, 19-14. Merritt Island leads by five. Annabelle Jones to serve for Merritt Island. They lead it 19-14. Here in the third set, they're six points away from a straight set win. Jones to serve. Received by English up towards the net, set outside. And the kill attempt received by Schwantz, set by Jones. And they're going to get the double on Annabelle Jones there on the set. Checking in for Santa Fe will be Briley Kuhn and Morgan Lawson. I don't know the argument here at all. Am I, am I wrong or did Santa Fe just get the point? That's what I thought. Yeah, so they call the double on Merritt Island. Santa Fe still having an issue here. I don't know what's going on. I just don't know what you can argue here. I don't know what you can argue. I think they're going to... I don't know. Again, I know a lot of things, but sometimes there's some things I can't explain. And where we're at right now, I have no idea. And hey, all this stop in the action, just letting this Merritt Island fan base get more fired up. Nineteen fifteen, the lead for Merritt Island. The serve from Santa Fe, and tipped over by Aveline Krauser for the point. Merritt Island first to twenty for the third straight set. They lead it twenty to fifteen. Back to serve for Merritt Island, five points away, it's Shamaya Richardson. Serve, receive, up into the net, free ball kill by Bella Schwantz. Nice play by Schwantz, Merritt Island leads 21-15 and right here is where you would love a timeout if you're Santa Fe, but you don't have it. Richardson to serve for the Mustangs, four points away. In the middle, set up in the air. And played over by Peyton English. Set up by the net, backside, Aveline Krauser. And they're gonna say it caught the line there, close call. On the line for Krauser, Merritt Island leads 22-15. I think if you're Santa Fe here, you can't let any ball close to the lines fall. You gotta just play them. Can't, can't run the risk. And there's an ace for Shamaya Richardson. It's too low for Reagan Matthews. Merritt Island is two points away from a straight set advance to the regional finals. They lead it 23 to 15. Richardson to serve. Richards, Richardson serve, receive, goes off the net, tipped over by Merritt Island. Played back by Brooke Finley, set by Jones outside. Bella Schwantz down the line, out of bounds that time. 23-16, now the lead for Merritt Island. Checking in for Santa Fe is Delaney Wingenbach. Back to serve for Santa Fe is Grayson, or uh, Peyton English. 23-16, the lead for Merritt Island. Set by Jones, Aveline Krauser. Received by Matthews, free ball, Schwantz, kill. Match point for the Merritt Island Mustangs. They lead it 24-16. Checking in for Merritt Island will be Aveline Krauser. Tell you what, this has been the tight, 
if they take this point, this is, might be the tightest feeling straight set win I've ever seen. Match point for the Merritt Island Mustangs. Sarah Niazzi to serve. And here we go, match point for the Merritt Island Mustangs to advance to the regional finals. For the season for Santa Fe, Niazzi going deep. Serve, receive, they clear away. English through the roof, gets over off of Wingenbach. Niazzi set by Jones. Emma Michelle wins it! The freshman ices it for Merritt Island in straight sets. And the Mustangs are going back to the regional finals as they will play either Mount Dora or they will play at Bishop Moore. If it's Bishop Moore, they will travel. If it's Mount Dora, they will host on Wednesday night. 25-16, Merritt Island wins in straight sets over the Santa Fe Raiders to advance to the regional finals. And for Merritt Island, they still have not lost a set since October 5th, I believe. And the Mustangs are gonna row the boat. Merritt Island going back to the regional finals, winning in straight sets over Santa Fe, 25-10, 25-18, and 25-16. I'm just got to say, really in this one, never a doubt for Merritt Island. They led a majority of this match, and a lot of the minuscule critiques you could have of this team of the midseason and late middle of the season are gone. And right now, Merritt Island playing some of their best volleyball of the season, and an impressive win here for the Mustangs in straight sets over a good Santa Fe program that has won a state championship in the last four years. But it's not going to be their year in the year 2024 as the season comes to an end for Santa Fe and the regional semifinals to the hands of the Merritt Island Mustangs in straight sets. And again, we'll see them on Wednesday, either against Bishop Moore or against Mount Dora. And thank everyone for tuning in here on your Saturday. We still have more regional semifinal volleyball to come, so you can take a break, watch some college football, but don't miss uh, Vieira volleyball tonight. Alan Zodrzinski will be on the call for their regional semifinal game as Vieira looks to go back to the regional finals as well. Once again, I'd also like to thank Martinez Construction Services as well as the Florida High School Athletic Association. Remember to book your trip to the uh, Volleyball State Championship Series in uh, Polk County this year. And again, this one ends in straight sets. Merritt Island wins in the first set by 15, second set by seven, and the final set by nine. And the Mustangs are going back to the regional final on Wednesday night. Thanks everyone for watching. For Kayla Brown, for the Santa Fe Raiders, for the Maryland, the Maryland, Merritt Island Mustangs. I'm Jackson Rob for the Brevard Sports Network as the Mustangs take the regional semifinal game in straight sets and they advance to the regional finals.